everyone, Robert Miller here in my attic studio in Brooklyn, New York. This year, Pro Tools is 30 years old, and I've been fortunate to have been involved with it since the beginning. In the 80s, I worked at Water Music Recorders in Hoboken, New Jersey, and made a lot of great sounding records, all before the advent of the DAW. One thing I learned that was to get great performances, a great headphone mix was essential. Recently, Avid introduced Carbon, a hybrid production system that leverages the power of the host plus the same DSP chips as the HDX to give you sub-millisecond latency when recording up to 24 channels with DSP plugins and four dedicated headphone mixes. Are you ready to take a look? So let's take a look at how we can record 24 channels all with DSP plugins into Carbon with four headphone mixes simultaneously. So for the purpose of this demo, I'm using tracks that we recorded at Berkeley Power Station several years ago of Omar Hakim and Rachel Z's Osmosis Band. It was a quartet and we had a few more tracks. I've kind of pared it down for the purposes of this demo. So if you take a look here, you know, I have created folder tracks for each one of the four instruments. And they appear on the S1 along with VCAs for each of those groups. And if I double tap the folder track, it spills out all of those tracks. And now I can come in and take a look. You'll see I'm using the SSL 4K from Plugin Alliance on all of those channels. And if I double tap on the, the folder track, it's gonna go back in again. We can take a look at the, the basses. I can solo the bass. and <clears throat> take a look at the EQ that I'm using here. I'm using an AMEC mastering EQ on the DI, and then on the amp, I'm using a Focusrite channel strip from, again, from Brain Frameworks. So let's take a look, put that back. Keyboards. I'm using some just basic EQ here and some on the piano tracks, a little rolling off of things and put that back. And then we can take a look at our guitar. Now the guitar is not using any EQs, but I do have from McDSP a compressor I'm using a U670. Let's put this back and you can see there's one of the pro compressor that's on that folder track. So let's open them all up and you'll see quite a large session here going on, right? I can put them all back again by option clicking on that. So how are we getting 24 channels into Carbon? Let's take a look at our IO setup. So if we take a look at the inputs, you'll see that one through eight are all mic line inputs, fantastic microphone preamps. So they're all coming controllable from the front panel here. And then I have two ADAT SMUX ports. So I'm using a Ferrofish Pulse 16 to add an additional 16 inputs at 44 or 48 kilohertz. And on the output tab, I'm taking my uh, monitor, which is going to my speakers. And then we're taking uh, line outs one through uh, eight, and they can be used for other things. I'm not using them in this session right now, um, but headphone mix um, is a separate output again. It's it's taking the main monitor mix on channel on the first headphone, and then headphone two, three, and four are all coming are dedicated mixes. And actually, I'm using an insert here. I'm using a for the uh, the Stamp Child 670, um, you know, analog compressor on the on the two bus. So that's how we can expand. Um, of course, you know, this is the from Ferrofish, but there are many, many other options that you can use to expand the IO on a carbon unit. So <clears throat> let's open it all up again. And if we come down to the end, you'll see that I have a VCA for each one of these, and I can put them all into record by option clicking on that. And now you'll see if we take a look all of these option click on the guitars on the keys 
and the piano, everything's in to record. So we're about almost ready to go here, but let's take a look at how we can look at our, our Q mixes. So I'm gonna come over here and show you sends F through J, and you'll notice that each channel has a Q send for channel for Q mix number two, three, and four. And right now, four has no values assigned to it. So I'm gonna show you a really great way of taking all of the tracks that are in this session by option clicking on those and then coming under automation and say copy to send. And that'll take all of the values that are here on my control room mix and send them to send number I. So here's send number I up here. Watch this, if I click this, boom, they're all there. And now a little bit more bass, a little bit more kick, a little bit more snare, and we can then dial in each one of these headphone cues to each of the uh, artists. So lastly, you'll notice that in each one of these folder tracks, I have also a effects send using a, uh, a drum reverb here on the snare and on the tom-toms, uh, -toms, and I'm using a DSP reverb here. So this is really fantastic, you know, to be able to get some low latency reverbs happening. This is just using a, kind of a little bit of a room sound. And on the um, guitars, I'm using another reverb one. So that's two reverb ones that are being used. And then on the keyboards, I'm using a native plugin. Now, normally, if we go into DSP enable mode, you know, which is what this little green button is here, what'll happen is it'll bypass any of the native plugins that are there. But we have DSP safe by command clicking on this, uh, you can see there's a little line through there and I'm actually in DFP safe mode, which enables us to route the send to the native mixer, take our Valhalla plate and return it back into the DSP mixer. And all we're really incurring is a little bit more pre-delay, um, you know, maybe about, you know, nine or 10 milliseconds there. Let's take a look at one, one last thing here at our system usage. And you'll see that I'm using a little bit of all eight of those um, DSP chips here, but I still have some more headroom. So again, 24 channels, four headphone mixes, all with fantastic plugins, click track, talk back mic, everything that I need to do a session. Pretty amazing. So there you have it. Incredible sound quality, sub millisecond record monitor paths on up to 24 tracks and four headphone cue outputs and the power and ease of using Pro Tools. So thanks so much for watching.